So let me just quickly load up uh, my third document. So what product I went for was something called debt consolidation. So there you go. I, I probably I spelled it wrong. Of course I did. Um, so what happened was, in my case, I had a bunch of debts. I had a bunch of credit cards, loans, payday loans, and so on. And it got to a point where, because I was paying so much, on so many monthly payments, separate monthly payments, it was taking any other chance I had of paying off any debt I had quicker, because I already was in a mess financially. This was several years ago. So the idea is, is that, like I say, you have, let's say, this is an example, loan, uh, credit card, um, and um, I don't know, payday loan, and so on. And then let's make up some fictional amounts. So let's say, for example, you have £5,000 on the loan, you have uh, £1,500 on the credit card, and you have £500 on the payday loan. But then each one has got its own monthly payment. So say, for example, the loan was you were paying, I don't know, £150 a month. The uh, credit card, uh, you were paying, say, £75 a month. And then the payday loan, you have to basically clear it all um, at the end of the month. But you might end up paying a lot more because of the insane interest. So the when you look at the total, let's say totals. Um, so the amount of debt is about, in this case, this example case, say 7,000, 7, okay, with monthly payments of, uh, let's see, 225, um, 875, I, I am assuming is correct. Okay, so the idea of a debt consolidation loan, or you can actually get it for credit card separately, but I'll cover that in a sec is that you get a new loan, which clears out all the other debt, um, and then reduces the monthly payment. So in this case, let's say you take out, um, so let's call it a DC loan. You take out a loan for say 7,000 pounds to clear off all the other ones. But then the monthly payment on the 7,000 uh, pound new loan to cover up all the others is say, I don't know, 200, and that's it. But then you have one debt, you have one monthly payment, and um, the assumption would be that it's at a lower interest rate. So it saves you, it reduces your monthly payment vastly, um, and it should hopefully save you interest, assuming that you do it properly. Uh, if you get some good advice and also diligence from your own uh, bank or anyone that you're borrowing from. It's not obligated to do it, but it is definitely preferred. Now, what you could also do, let's say for the credit card, for example, um, if you want to get rid of the £75 a month payment, let, let's say you're in complete dire straits, um, then what you could also do is a credit card uh, transfer. So what some credit cards will do, um, let's say you have, you have a new credit card, okay? And they, they will offer to take the full balance. So let's say, for example, um, they will take the 1500 that you have on your current credit card. And then um, they will charge you 0% for, say, 24 months or 28 months or whatever. You might have seen the offers going around explaining that. Then you wonder, well, how do these credit card companies make money? What they tend to do is they tend to add uh, one to 3% um, onto the balance straight away. So um, the balance charge. So while they might charge you 0% for 24 months onwards, they've already made money from taking on your debt by adding 1% to 3% to the balance. And then assuming you still don't pay anything after, after the 24 months or the interest-free period, then they will start charging you interest at the um, at whatever rate you agree. So what's really important to do is to make sure that you um, check what interest rates you are paying on each of the loans and um, and credit card, and then try and find out um, if you're getting a good deal or not. 
So in my case, these all these numbers are, are fictitious, so you can't quote them. But let's say, for example, your loan was, say, at, I don't know, 15%. Then your credit card was at, um, I don't know, 18.9%. And then your payday loan was at, like, um, I don't know, uh, 5 billion percent. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously, but, you know, payday loans are the biggest ripoff of all time. Now, if you approach some payday, so, sorry, some debt consolidation uh, provider who will try and consolidate the loan, but then they offer you an interest rate higher than all of the other ones. So let's say in this case, 5 million percent, 5 million and 1 percent, um, interest, then basically you're getting severely ripped off because uh, obviously let, let's make this more realistic. So let's say, for example, uh, 30% and then this one, uh, 31 for the debt consolidation. Then what that means is, is that they've increased the interest rate on the original loan of 5,000, on the original credit card, and on the payday loan. So what I did was I approached the bank directly. That's the first step. This is all relevant to the UK, obviously. I'm from the UK. Um, and I said to them that I feel that I wasn't given a good deal um, on the debt consolidation loan I was given. Now, thankfully, in my case, I've paid off the loan already. I, I got rid of everything. I never went into arrears. I never uh, went into debt management or anything like that. I was fully paid off. However, I didn't get a good deal because it actually increased my tax, my uh, sorry, my interest and my burden basically at the time. So while it did reduce my monthly payments, um, it overall didn't do me a favor. Um, so when I went to the bank directly, they, I spoke to a lovely lady on the phone. She was very nice. She was charming. She was supportive. She was whatever, saying, "Oh, you know, you're a young guy. You did." Silly things, you know, uh, but we're not going to go through with your complaint. We just, you know, like, we just don't feel we have any chance of winning. So get out. Piss off. You know, so it's, it's basically like it went from really, really nice um, on the phone to a very, very rude letter <laughs> that says, uh, how dare you, uh, like, even pursue this complaint. So um, what I was given and the option that you have in the UK is that if you can't resolve a dispute with your uh, creditor directly, you can then take your case to the Financial Ombudsman Service. And I did make a tutorial about who the Financial Ombudsman Service is in the UK. And there is also a US equivalent, which is detailed in that video. So for the last, I don't know, it's been a long time. It's been maybe 18 months since I did this case because it was only delayed because of, you know, the pandemic and everything that's going on in the world right now. Usually it would be resolved within three, four months. That would be the average time, assuming that you have a viable case. So after all of the evidence gathering, the discussions and the financial ombudsman going back and forth with the bank and so on, they finally agreed that, yes, in my case, I was... Um, not given a good deal that was viable at the time. I was offered the wrong interest rate and therefore I lost out as a consumer. Um, it made my debt situation worse, not better, and so on and so on and so on and so on. So, and then the next step is they need to calculate how much they need to return to me in interest and charges. So the way it works, and I will link to an article that ex explains this, if you go down this road and you do eventually win, then they have to recharge or refund to you your interest charges and then also add on uh, interest to that interest as compensation. And then any redress as well, like any extra compensation in case it has caused you like health problems, it's caused you mental health problems, it's caused you your life to become worse because you were given a bad like uh, credit. So um, basically... I'm now at that stage. So my bank has agreed to refund me all the interest and charges I paid on that loan. And uh, also as well, they're calculating right now the compensation. Now, I am happy that I went down this line, but I've learned a lot about it. Now, from what I've seen, and again, please consult an accountant 
or HMRC about this. The way it works is, is that the refund of the interest and charges from the loan is tax-free, any redress is tax-free. But the additional compensation, the additional interest, the additional compensation, whatever, that is a taxable income. So let's say, for example, um, let's say uh, compensation. Uh, so let's say um, on this loan, you paid, um, I don't know, uh, 1,500 pound in interest uh, to before you eventually cleared it, but it wasn't a good deal and blah, blah, blah. Then that refunded uh, would be uh, tax-free. But like I said, please check with HMRC if you ever get into this road. Any additional, um, uh, let's say, for example, you get another £750 additional um, interest and compensation um, is taxable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link for you in a description, in the description, an article that explains that side of things because it is explained on the financial ombudsman website. But I'll say again, yet again, please consult with HMRC or with an accountant to uh, find what you need to do, your tax burdens and so on, if you get to this line of compensation. So um, there is responsibility from both sides. So basically, um, if you are taking a deal um, or bad interest because uh, you simply... Actually, actually, you know what? I don't even want to say it because I don't want to put scenarios because you never... Because this almost is delving into the legal side and I don't really want to talk about it. So basically, that's the summary of how I was able to win my case against my bank. So all these numbers are fictitious. This is nothing to do with reality. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. But that's the general principle of it. So where I am now is I'm waiting to find out um, how much I'm going to get in a, as a refund. And then hopefully I'll be able to take some of that money, not all of it, some of it, towards uh, paying off my debt. Because that's the journey of this channel, is working towards becoming debt-free. And I've made certain sacrifices along the way. Like, I did not buy a PlayStation 5. I did not buy an Xbox Series X. I need better lighting for this room because you can see big shadows because I've got light overhead. Um, I need, I want to buy new screens because I'm using screens from 2008. Uh, with an RTX 2080, which doesn't make any sense. So there's, I'm not getting the full potential out of my graphics card, and so on. And um, I pre-ordered the collector's edition of Cyberpunk 2077 a year ago because I thought by then I would have the money, and I didn't. So at the last minute, I cancelled it. Simple as that. And I took actually a cheap copy of the game because uh, I had credit on some gaming website. So I've made a lot of sacrifices along the way, but I'm absolutely determined to become debt-free. But the reason I wanted to make this video is to explain um, the mistakes that you can make with debt consolidation. Like debt consolidation is not like definitely going to help you in every situation, and you are given that warning. Um, and I'm going to link to you a couple of articles about that as well. Is that it can actually put you in a worse off financial position if you don't handle it properly. So uh, be cautious about it. That's why it's a good idea to do a lot of research or get advice from a financial advisor and so on. And also as well, like when dealing with a doctor, for example, you don't have to take the first offer. Like, or like the first person that you speak to, you know, you don't have to take what they say as gospel. Like you, it is worth to get a second opinion. Simple as that. So, yeah. So hopefully if I get some money, I can push my debt down a little bit and that'll be the end of that saga and then I can actually start moving on with my life so um, let me know in those comments down below have you had a similar situation yourself uh, have you done credit card transfers like these th different financial products let me know and has it affected your personal finance and so on have you ever been at a point where your debts were so out of hand that you considered debt management or anything like that as well like uh, let me know your thoughts and your experience. But for now, victory 
you know, I can celebrate victory. It took a very long time because of what's going on in the world right now. But um, I'm happy that I was able to get to this stage. And I want to help as many other people to understand my position as possible. But I might just give, point you in the right direction. Remember, I am not a lawyer. I am not a financial advisor. Um, I am just a normal citizen who has had debt. And this is the steps I took um, in order to deal with them.